Hey, I'm Seth with Land the House, here with my friend David. We are in his creek, about to install a one and a quarter inch ram pump. Yeah. We have somewhere around five foot of head pressure from where we're going to be placing our bucket intake, which we have here. And uh, we're going to be mounting the ram pump to this crate here, and then pumping up his hill to a porch next to his house. So. Let's go ahead and get started installing this ram pump. So we have a 20 foot section of one and a quarter PVC that we are snaking through the woods. And we're going to be using a screened intake, which is right here. And let me show you how I made that real quick. I used a piece of three inch PVC and put a whole bunch of holes in it. Capped it on one end. The other end has a coupling and a three inch to one and a quarter adapter. And then on top of that has some metal screen with a couple of hose clamps to keep that from unraveling. We're just connecting a threaded adapter here to the end of the one and a quarter inch pipe to be used for the threads on the screen intake. We're going to use this little pool that's right here and we'll have to put some more rocks to make a little dam just to bring the water up enough to fill this screen. Normally you would leave it for like 24 hours. This is what our intake looks like. We've made a little rock dam on this side and we placed a tire over the uh, screened intake to keep it weighted down. So now we have a couple of feet of drop here that will go down to our bucket. If we don't have quite enough drop here, we can add another 10 feet of one and a quarter PVC. See what happens if you bring it up to about uh, knee level. Not too bad. Still set that 90 on the end of that. Very nice. Now, I have this one inch PVC pipe. I actually had to find conduit because I didn't have enough PVC laying around, but this is gonna be a drain hole here on the bottom of our bucket. Now, when I made this bucket, it has a unisill on this side and one down here. This is a product that you just drill a hole and then insert it, and whenever you put your pipe into it, it will flare out the backside and keep the pipe in place. So this little piece here is just simply going to be a drain so that if enough silt and sediment builds up in this bucket, you can just pull this plug and it will drain out. There we go. Nice. So if you will, set this lid on there. That'll just help keep some junk out of it. Seems like it has a pretty good flow rate still. Oh, now it's coming out the other end. Nice. So I have filed down one end of this pipe. If you would just shove that into that unisill. Yeah, now I've got about an inch. Okay, nice. Oh. So from there, we need to attach our other end of the pipe. Uh, so we may have to pull our uh, supply line out just so we can uh, glue that real quick. Oh yeah, trash cleanup. Oh. You'll pull the one rock that's holding me up here. Yeah, then you're <laughs> gonna <laughs> boom. Okay, there we go. Nice. That looks more like it's supposed to. So our 20 foot of pipe almost got us here to the pallet. We need just a little bit more to reach us all the way here to where the ram pump is gonna be attached.
It's nice having fresh water all the time. Yeah. Shirt may be too wet in a minute. <laughs> yeah, it's getting pretty wet. Some PVC glue actually works underwater, but I don't know about this stuff. Yeah, I think it's the blue stuff that works underwater. Gotta be safe, though. sorry. Nice. So it doesn't peel off. I always forget which way that actually is. Now we're ready to uh, take this union apart. Let's screw that uh, ball valve on there. Now what? these have uh, an O-ring on the other end. If that gets lost, it doesn't work. Ah, so it's good to know. Like that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> like getting lost right it's... as you squeeze it. <laughs> there, you won't believe how many times people have been like, "Hey, uh, this doesn't work." I don't have this thing that's supposed to go in here. Do you have that um, channel lock? Stuff? I actually have two of them. One. Right on, Christus. I got the other one if you need it. Sure. Maybe big enough. At least just to get us around there. Now this guy's got to go back. Nothing says use an impact driver like rain. <laughs> I'll get that impact driver real quick. Now you'll notice that the ram pump pressure tank is vertical. That's really important to keep your air up here in the top. If you lean it, the air sometimes will leave the pump and cause the pump to hit hard, which you don't want. And you'll also notice with the stainless steel valve, it is tilted off to the side. That allows the heavier valve to hang a bit open and uh, close easier. So we're gonna be using some plumber's tape Yep. and a couple of exterior screws here to get this pump locked down and uh, I found that using this inline valve is a good place to put this attachment here Okay, the next step, we're gonna put some Teflon tape on this uh, three quarter inch to, it's a NPT thread to garden hose thread. So that'll go up there. So typically you do about three wraps of this? Yeah, three, four. Some people do seven. <laughs> <laughs> that generous to four. Your delivery pipe can be anything you want. Uh, we're going to be using garden hose for this one and a quarter pump. Works pretty good. Uh, some people will use PVC, some will use poly pipe. The main factor you want to consider with your delivery pipe is the uh, flow rate restriction. So if you have a pipe that is too small and you're trying to pump a good bit of water, there's going to be some friction loss. Other than that, you can use any size The hill behind me is somewhere around the 15 to 20 feet above the pump, which means our approximately four feet of head pressure should work perfectly for this situation. I'm going to set the supply line back into the bucket. <laughs> Maybe. It came down a little bit. Let me move it back up. There we go, that ought to do it. Bucket is full and the uh, water is jetting outside the top. So that should keep us pretty well air free as long as our pump is using the water going into the bucket and nothing more. Okay, so in order to start the pump, first open up your ball valve on the drive pipe. Now, there is, <laughs> let's start on its own, nice. nice. So oftentimes there is air stuck in your drive pipe and you have to hold the valve down until that air is out. Because what's happening is water's coming down your drive pipe, slamming this waste valve closed 
and sending a pressure wave back up the pipe. If that pressure wave finds an air pocket, it's going to think that's the source mm. and it will return to the check valve and it'll just cycle faster and faster until it stops. But this time we are good. I bet since our hose already had so much water in it, the back pressure is oh, already built. It's just pulled it, yeah. yeah. So we should be able to walk up the hill and see output at the top here in just a moment. Here we go. We have water. Nice. So it's moving a little bit more than once a second, which means our drive pipe is a little bit short at um, 22 feet or so. So you'd want it like 25 or 30 and it would slow this down even more, mm -hmm. but it's working fine. So you can hear the rhythm and kind of a, a nice thud to it. Mm -hmm. When you close, the delivery pipe and you wait for a second it will start hitting harder and harder because the pressure tank is building more and more pressure mm -hmm. and it will get to the point as if there were no tank at all and it was just a, a solid slam from this drive pipe and now you can see it's starting to move things even more like it's just it's bouncing the pressure tank and so the more head pressure you have the harder that's going to be so Say you were working with 15 feet of head pressure, you might actually break stuff if you lock down the delivery. Gotcha. So, and also if you open this too quick, sometimes it will stop the pump. We're good here though, because our delivery is high enough. So now it's kind of, you can kind of hear a difference. Mm -hmm. The higher your head pressure, the, the heavier it gets. Okay, and go. We've got a quart jug. We are going to measure the flow rate at the top. See what we've got. All right, 30 seconds. Okay, we went ahead and double checked our math because yeah. Uh, so a quart container took 30 seconds to fill up. So it's at half a gallon a minute. Very happy with that. So the idea here is to have a cold dip outside my sauna. So you can do your sauna time, come out here, jump in a, a fresh, clear water, cold dip. And as you can see over here, our pipe is at the same height. So we'll just have to throw an extension on that, bring it over here, and we'll have a constant flow of fresh spring water to dip in. I'm really excited about it. The GoPro audio cut out here, but my friend David is super excited to have water off-grid coming up from the creek by Ram Pump. If you've enjoyed this video, if you would take a moment to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. There are pumps available on Amazon and also on landhouse.com. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.